we're going to build a schedule from scratch using chat GPT. It's going to be a new construction for a house. Uh, this is going to be just a very simple schedule to get you started. Um, and uh, yeah, so go ahead, go to chatgpt.com. The plan that I subscribed to was the plus plan. It's $20 a month right now. Um, but uh, you, if you if you have the free plan, I don't believe it will allow you to generate tables and downloadable you know um, files and stuff like that. So I subscribe to this plan. Um, I believe that's required. So check maybe maybe things have changed since I've created this video, but that's what I'm doing. Um, all right, and then once you're in Chat GPT and you're signed in, uh, you go to Explore GPTs. And these are plugins that uh, kind of sit on that people have created that sit on top of Chat GPT, and uh, and so the one that I'm using is MS Project Copilot. So all you do is find that, click Start Chat, and that is going to allow us to generate um, actual MPP files. So I'm going to submit a prompt here, and I'm going to say create a .mpp downloadable file for a new construction schedule. The schedule is for a new house. The major sections of the project include site development, foundation, structure, interior rough, exterior finishes, interior finishes, punch list, and commissioning. Add predecessor relationships to all activities. So let's go ahead and submit that and see what happens. All right, so let's create a professional project plan for the construction schedule for the new house. We'll organize it into major sections as you've specified and establish predecessor relationships to define the logical sequence. So step one, confirm the name. Do you want this name? Yes. All right, great. Submit a start date. Okay, January 2nd, 2025 is when we want the project to start. Perfect. So here it's generating this initial work breakdown structure. So um, I've included major sections and activities under each with duration and logical predecessor relationships. So it's pretty amazing. I only really provided the the headings and it's assumed, you know, based on, on data gathered throughout the internet that uh, here's some common activities under uh, these headers. Um, so here's all, all the activities that it's filled out my sections with. It's added durations. Obviously, you know, this is just used to, to generate um, generate these activities. You've got to check your own work, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I, I put that disclaimer there. Um, obviously, you know, it might not have all the right activities for your specific project, but this is just to get you going. Um, all right, so dependency summary. So site development task must finish before starting foundations. Foundations must complete before beginning the structure. Structure must complete before be beginning interior rough and exterior finishes. So it's made really good logical sequences. Uh, does this structure align with your expectations? Um, let's say please add a predecessor column. Because uh, I want to see how these activities are specifically tied in. So here's the updated breakdown structure. It added this predecessor column. Um, so what I don't like is you have grading and excavation and that's tied to site development right here. And it should be tied to the land clearing. And I've run this um, example a few times on my own and what I know is happening is it doesn't know that these site development um, rows should be summary tasks. So I'm going to say, um, let's see here. So each, ta each task predecessor defines the task it depends on. If this align so I'm going to say, um, please change the um, heading, the headings to uh, summary tasks. So where the major sections are clearly marked as summary tasks. It's still doing that. So let's go ahead and let's see what the file actually looks like. Um, we'll go ahead and download this file and see what it looks like here. 
almost done. And over, okay, so summary tasks now represent the major sections and their durations. Uh, so let me know if everything looks good. This looks good. Let's see what it looks like here. Perfect, I'll create the MPP file now with the details provided. All right, very exciting stuff here. Okay, so um, it needs it needs me to give it access to this erics.ai. I think that's just for, it's like an external software that it's talking with. All right, so here, is, so they have this, they have this uh, viewer, this project viewer that I like to use before I download the file, um, just to make sure that everything looks right. So let's go ahead and check out to see how it generated our schedule. All right, so it did not, um, it did not make those summary tasks like I wanted it to. So let's go ahead and uh, let's correct it because um, that's not going to be very helpful for us. So let's, the, um, the major sections in the schedule are not showing up on the project. To ensure that the major sections are showing up as summary tasks, they must be explicitly defined as summary tasks tasks in the MPP file. Let me recreate the project plan and properly assign the major sections as summary tasks, ensuring they show up correctly. I'll adjust this immediately and generate a new file for you. One moment, please. So now it's going to generate that new file and let's see if it makes that correction. All right, it needs access again, so I'll confirm access. The major sections are now properly set as summary tasks. You can download the file now. So let's go ahead and uh, let's view the plan first and make sure that it made that adjustment. So, so this looks a lot better. It has our sections. It has our activities. The predecessors are tied correctly. You can see grading is tied to line two instead of being tied to the summary tasks. We can see here that the foundations, um, this new section is tied to the end of the previous section. So this all looks much better uh, than the last version. So let's go ahead and say, um, well, now we, we'll download the, uh, the updated MPP file and I'll show you how to open that in Microsoft Project. So I'm just gonna download that to my, um, my downloads folder here. And then once you have Microsoft Project open, just go to opening a new file. I'm going to go to browse. And I'm going to go to downloads. And that Here's the project file that I downloaded. So let's see how it comes in. And sometimes, so this looks great. Uh, we have the, the uh, summary task, we have the activities underneath, everything you can see is tied together. So this looks, uh, this looks good. Um, one thing that I will say is um, sometimes the fields don't map, you'll have to manually map them to, uh, to the columns, to the correct fields in Microsoft Project. So you can you can do that just by opening, uh, you know, there's, when, when you open the file, it takes you through a wizard and you can map those to the right place, but um, it, you shouldn't have issues doing that. So hope this was helpful. Um, feel free to reach out at uh, pjmss.com and uh, would love to hear from you. Okay, take care.